Rapids fans, the Dan Dallin here with Dallin on the Diamond coming to you from Tully's Good Times at 1050 Arsenal Street right here in Watertown, New York. Today, we're going to be speaking with a returning player for the Rapids, left-hand pitcher Kalen Clarkson. He hails from Ontario, Canada. Six foot three, 230 pounds, kind of hard to miss. He started one game last year, came a lot from the relievers, uh, from the uh, dugout there, uh, relieved a lot of games, uh, did some hitting, had a great season so well that he's coming back again. Locally, he plays for Jefferson Community College, starting pitcher for JCC. Looking forward to hearing a little bit from Kalen about what he's learned by being with the Rapids, what he brings to the team from JCC, what he's learned from the JCC head coach, Brandon Noble, and what he looks forward to working with Matt Petrosi once he gets here to the Rapids. So, again, we're looking forward to a great season. Season starts off on May 31st when the Boonville Lumberjacks come to town to play the Watertown Rapids right here at the fairgrounds in Watertown. It's going to be an amazing season, great weather, great baseball, and we're just going to look forward to it, a, a terrific season. Lots of wins, hopefully, most importantly, lots of fans. Can't wait to meet all of you while we're out there at the fairgrounds with the Watertown Rapids. So we'll be back in just a moment as I introduce to you Kalen Clarkson, our returning left-hand pitcher from JCC and Ontario, Canada. Hey, my name's Paige, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is the crispiness of the breading and the tenderness of the filet. It's tasty, it's warm, it's total satisfaction. Hi, this is Tanya, and what makes the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich original to me is that warm bun, the perfectly seasoned chicken, and that pickle. Woo, I love it. There's a taste of my childhood in every bite. Okay, welcome back. V. Dan Dallin here with Kalen Clarkson. He's our left-handed pitcher for the Watertown Rapids, also plays over at Jefferson Community College. Kalen, how are you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Excited to be here. Excellent. Well, we're really glad to have you here. Glad to have you coming back for a second season. Before we get to that, though, I want to go back and talk about the beginning, right? When and how did you first get involved with baseball? Ever since I was little, um, as soon as I could play, I could play t-ball. Um, I think I first kind of found an interest in baseball just watching Blue Jays games on TV. And I, when I was younger, I was always a big sports guy. I played hockey before I could walk. And I just like I liked the thought of playing two sports, having mm -hmm. playing all year round. And baseball is probably the my favorite summer sport, got into it, just stuck with it. It's always good to hear that you like to play hockey. Yeah. That's for sure. Big hockey fans here in Watertown. Uh, so, T-ball, when did you, and then uh, eventually at some point you must have started pitching. Yeah. Right? So what was the first position that you played, and then let me know when you started pitching. Uh, first position I played was first base. Okay. Uh, being a lefty, you're kind of very limited uh, positions. You can either really pitch outfield or first. Um, and I was always a little taller, um, so first base was the best fit. I was pretty slow growing up. Um, I was skinny but slow, so first base fit. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess pit, left handed pitchers in baseball, they're kind of, they're more rare, so they're kind of, they're welcomed more, I guess you'd say, from coaches. Right. Um, and as soon as, I, as soon as we could pitch at my level, I started doing it and it kind of became my best position. And I love baseball, everything about it, but there was just something about pitching, kind of just like lavish, or gratitated towards it. And it just just became my favorite position and my favorite part about the sport. I kind of look at it as like an art almost. Okay. Yeah. It's... So tell me about that. So like an art, what about it is artistic to you? Um, just like, the amount of pitches pitchers can throw and how different it is with every pitcher. Um, every every pitcher is very different. Mm -hmm. um, and just be able to 
do such a good job at pitching uh, because it is, I find, very hard. You have to feel great when you're out there. And s s pitchers nowadays, they're throwing 100 miles per hour, um, 90 mile per hour sliders. Um, I just find it beautiful to watch that. Yep. Um, it's just such a, it just looks so cool to me. So. Absolutely. So yeah. a lot of us are familiar with, you know, the four seam fastball, the two seam fastball, how you grip a curveball. How have you amended any of those? Or what kind of pitch have you kind of created on your own? Uh, so for me right now, um, I just added kind of a cutter, I'd probably say a year ago. Uh, but for me, probably my best my best pitch is my changeup. And so when I was growing up at first, um, I didn't throw the changeup too much. Um, it's, it's an uncomfortable, I found it was an uncomfortable grip at first. Um, so I just stopped throwing it. And then once I got to travel ball, I started playing for the Ontario Blue Jays. Um, I told my coach, I'm like, I don't really throw a changeup. He said, you're going to play catch with it every single day and it's going to become your best pitch. Mm -hmm. And at the time I was like, I guess so. I didn't really think. It was pretty bad when I'd throw it. Um, and I worked with my coach, um, throwing it almost at pretty much every day. And it just became second nature to me. Um, it feels sometimes even feels better to throw than my forcing fastball, just a traditional fastball. Sometimes feels better at the hand. And um, it just came, became my best pitch. So. All right, and is there any special way that you set it up or? Um, I'm, I'm pretty good at it, so. Without giving away too many secrets, yeah. right? Yeah. You know? So in base, or when you're throwing, uh, you can either supinate, so it's when your hand's kind of cranked in. Okay. Uh, so you, you do that for breaking balls, like curveball sliders. And then there's uh, pronation, so it's turning it out. Uh, you do that with uh, sinkers or change-ups. And I'm pretty good at pronating compared to a lot of guys. Some guys, they're not as good as pronating. Um, and I kind of just excelled at it, and it allowed my changeup to be so good, okay. I, so I can get lots of sink and run on it. Uh, so that was a big thing. Um, I have big hands too, so for the changeup grip, that helps a lot. Right. And I, when I'd be sitting around at home or something, I just have a baseball in my changeup grip, and that's kind of what allowed it to be so comfortable for me. Uh, it was super comfortable for a pitch. For a lot of people, it's not very comfortable. Um, so that was a big thing for me. Okay. So now you're from uh, Barrie, Ontario? Yes. Right? And that's like an hour and a half or so north of Toronto, you were saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Just been an hour, 50 minutes north of Toronto. Sounds cold. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cold. Do you get a lot of time to play warm sports like baseball? <laughs> um, at first, no. Um, it was just in the summer. Yeah. Once I kind of got more serious with baseball, I, my, my travel ball team, the Ontario Blue Jays, uh, we were constantly traveling, traveling down to the south, uh, Florida, all those great places. Okay. So I did end up getting to play a lot of warm baseball, especially for a Canadian. Right. Which was nice. Yeah. Yeah, because love, love the warm, love, love the warm weather when you're playing baseball. Um, at JCC, we play and it's cold sometimes, and I'm not really a big fan of that. Right. So, yeah, I definitely need the warm weather. So what brought you to JCC? Um, kind of a wild story. So out of high school, I uh, was committed and I went to Dodge City Community College. Uh, it's in Kansas. Okay. Um, and so leading, leading up to the fall, or the year before I was going, the fall, um, I tore my rotator cuff. Um, and that put me out for a while. Um, I just, it took, it took a long time to recover and I had just recovered mm -hmm. and I went to school that fall. Um, my velocity was down. Um, I didn't feel good. I, it was almost, because spe spending that much time off, I pretty much almost forgot how to pitch, it felt like. Um, and at the time, I didn't really comprehend that. I thought, I should be, as soon as I got back, I thought I would be better. Right. Or it would be just as comfortable. And I really struggled like with mental health because of that, because I couldn't grasp that. Um, and then I ended up, while I was at school at Dodge City, I tore or partially tore my rotator cuff yet again as I just got back. 
Um, so I ended up struggling with mental health a lot, um, became very depressed because of it, and I winded up quitting baseball for about a month. At the time, I thought I was quitting totally. Mm -hmm. uh, I came home, I was working, um, and then I kind of- So you quit baseball and left school? Yes, yeah, I did. Wow. I came okay. home and quit baseball. Um, I was only I was only home for a month because I ended up realizing how much I love baseball, um, and that I need it as at this point in life. It's what I need. Um, so I wanted to stay a little closer to home this time, uh, just because just feel a little more comfortable. Because I was jumping in halfway through a year with the team, so I thought I'll go a little closer to home here. Um, and then there was actually a kid on JCC last year. He was in his sophomore year last year. Um, I knew him, he was from my area. We weren't great friends. Uh, we kind of just knew of each other. Yep. And I was looking at schools, trying to find out where to go. Hard to get kind of, hard to get a scholarship offer too, especially midway through the year. Right. Um, so I reached out to my friend. I said, do you guys need any pitching? Um, he said, I'll talk to my coach. Talked to his coach. Coach said, we'd love to have you after sending him some video talking. Um, came for a visit, Th thought it'd be a great place, and went there, and, yeah, last and, spring. And there you are, yeah, awesome. Still here. That's terrific. All right, well, that is a crazy story to go from yeah. Ontario to Kansas to Watertown, yet yeah. here you are. So we'll be back in just a minute. We'll learn a little bit more about Kalen and how he plans to attack this year, his second year with the Watertown Rapids. Sometimes the end, well, it's just another beginning. Hey, Robin. Yum. Okay, welcome back. The Dan Dallin. Dallin on the diamond here for the Watertown Rapids with Kalen Clarkson. We just learned a little bit about Kalen's transition from T-ball through playing travel ball out of Ontario, Canada, making his way to Kansas, and then ending up here at JCC. So Kalen, from JCC, how did you get introduced to the Rapids last year? Um, so when I first came on my initial visit, um, my coach had mentioned to me about the Rapids. He says, um, he was telling me, yeah, there's a, the Watertown Rapids, they're in the perfect game, collegiate league in the summer. Um, he said, it's great summer ball, so if, if, you're, if, you, if you're able to, it'd be a great opportunity. Um, I kind of kept that in the back of my head. Um, and then just kind of the season's going on, I, I wanted to find somewhere to play in the summer. Um, reached out to my coach, I said, hey, like, um, what's up with the Rapids? Do they have any spots or anything? Mm -hmm. uh, my coach reached out to the Rapids coach last year. He said, yeah, they need some pitchers. Uh, sent me the coach's number, talked to him. Um, that's how I ended up on the Rapids. Awesome. Yeah, and, and Coach Noble, Coach Brandon Noble over at JCC, uh, fantastic coach. He's got a great eye for talent. Um, I called some games last year, and it was he made a good call. You yeah. do a good job out there on the mound. Um, so tell me a little bit, how is it, or what's the difference between playing for the Rapids, still college ball essentially, right, wooden bats, but against other collegiate players versus playing for JCC, an actual college team? Um, there's a lot of similarities, but also a lot of differences. Um, the difference is obviously the weather, because our season for JCC is kind of throughout the cold. Rapids in the summer, great weather. Um, the metal bat versus wood bats, um, there is a big difference. Mm -hmm. I find uh, wood bat, it's more true, um, as like the hitters really show how good of a hitter they are with the wood bat versus metal. Because uh, the metal, sometimes you can miss, miss it on the bat, um, and it's still gonna go extra far, mm -hmm. get hit extra hard. Um, the big thing is, too, a big difference is since uh, JCC is a junior college two-year, um, the Rapids, we get a lot of, we get a lot of the four-year seniors, juniors, even graduate fifth years. 
Um, so there's, it's kind of just the leadership level is a little different. Um, last year, I was playing with the older guys. I learned lots from them, um, which I, this being my sophomore year now at JCC, it helped me apply to be a leader on my team now, which was huge. Um, similarity is the game, both games are pretty fast now. Yep. Uh, it's obviously college baseball, so it's, everything gets bigger, faster, and harder. Um, but a lot, of, a lot of similarities, a lot of differences. Okay. But. So working with those older players last year, the third, fourth, fifth years, really helped you be a leader for that JCC team. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And how has that been, how has that impacted your play at JCC or the team's play? Uh, it's actually impacted my play a lot, uh, more than I think, because what I learned from those older guys is not necessarily how, like in-game play, but it's more about how they carry themselves um, either off the field, um, around the guys. That was huge. Because mm -hmm. um, a kid last year on the Rapids, he was he's now a fifth-year graduate. Um, he was very supportive. He was someone you could always talk to. And sometimes it's nice to have a player to talk to. Yep. Um, and it's someone, he was someone I kind of looked up to. Um, always giving advice, whatnot. And you kind of just watching them, you learn how to carry yourselves, be a leader from them. Um, they kind of just, it's a big thing, especially for me, because at the two year, we only got freshmen and sophomores. Right. So I hadn't really been around those older guys. And learn, well, I learned lots from them. I could bring it back to JCC. Um, and I'd, I'd say I'm a leader on the team this year. And, and I like to say I'm a pretty good one. And I'd say it's pretty much because of those older guys last year. Yeah, it's, it's great. It's, it's, it's a great opportunity for you to learn from. And uh, you know, kudos to you for being mature enough to recognize that you are learning and to be able to bring that back to the two-year college team. So uh, that's terrific. Now, so you've had some experience, obviously, right, in the Perfect Game Baseball League. Opening day is uh, May 31st against the Boonville Lumberjacks. They were really new last year, yeah. right? I mean, formidable opponents, though. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you looking forward to from you know them and just the rest of the league? Um, I'm probably going to expect the same level of play as last year. Very good baseball. Um, Boonville Lumberjacks, we played them a lot last year. Um, at first, we had a little big rivalry going. We didn't like each other as much. Uh, towards the end, we started to kind of get along with each other. Um, you end up talking to some of the guys, whatnot, kind of getting friendly because we play each other so much. Always going there, they're always coming here. Um, the league-wise, I expect it just be the exact same. High-level baseball, super high. Um, every team's I expect to compete. Um, it's great baseball. Yep. So absolutely. Now you said you uh, you've had a conversation with our new. Matt Petrosi. Yes. Right? How did that conversation go? Um, so I was looking for somewhere to play again this summer, um, and I planned I want to play for the Rapids again. Um, so I got an email from Matt. Um, uh, he sent it out to the kids on the team last year, and he said, and you guys looking to play on the team this year, reach out to me. Um, so I reached out to him. He talked to Koga, uh, the coach last year for the Rapids. Yep. Uh, he had some good things to say about me, I guess. Um, and the coach this year, he offered me a spot and took it right away. Excellent. Now, last year you worked a lot from the bullpen. Mm -hmm. JCC, you worked primarily as a starter. Yes. Right? Uh, which do you prefer first uh, off? Yeah, yeah. for me, um, I don't really prefer one over the other. Uh, kind of, I like to do whatever the team needs me to do, yep. and also where I can find the most playing time. Uh, I'd say at JCC, I excelled as a starting pitcher. Uh, the Rapids, I excelled as a reliever. I think maybe the Rapids, I wouldn't have excelled as much as a starting pitcher. So I was, I guess I was more beneficial to the team um, as a reliever. So I, I, the Rapids, I preferred to re relieve last year. Mm -hmm. JCC, I preferred to start. Yeah, just kind of. I wonder how that'll change now with uh, Coach Petrosi as yeah. well as 
you know, with your experience now in the league and your experience being a leader, um, I've always wondered, how do you prepare yourself, though, as a bullpen reliever, right? Because you're kind of disengaged from the game for a while. For sure. And then it's all on your shoulders. Yeah. Yeah, there's a big difference between um, preparing as a starter versus a reliever. Uh, starter, you kind of locked in for the game, you, doing your warm-ups, locked in the whole time. And when you're ready to go in the game, when the game's ready to start, you're locked in because you're going to be out there from the jump. A uh, reliever, it is a little different. It takes uh, time adjusting from one to the other. A uh, reliever, you warm up for the game, uh, get your throwing done, all that and stuff. Um, and then you kind of just, you're sitting in the bullpen or sitting in the dugout, just relaxed, chilled out, uh, watching the game, cheering the guys on. Um, and then sometimes a co the coach will call you and say, hey, you got to go get hot. You're going in soon. And that's, you got to just kind of flip the switch. You got to be, all right, here we go. Mm -hmm. Run to the bullpen, do whatever you need, get warmed up. Uh, if you have, you have to get warmed up quick, get warmed up quick. But it's kind of as soon as coach uh, gives you the, say, heads up even maybe, say, hey, you might be thrown soon. That's just when the, you flip the switch. Um, before that, I, I find myself, I'm pretty relaxed, I'm having fun and all that. But then when coach gives you the word, it's all right, exactly. a whole new mentality. Enjoy yourself, and when it's time to go to work, exactly. it's time to go to work. Excellent. Well, Kaylin, that's terrific. I'm looking forward to seeing you out there, uh, whether it's starting the game or coming in from the bullpen, as long as we get to see you on the bump out there, uh, I think we're looking forward to a really good season. Me too. So thanks a lot, Kaylin. Great Thank meeting you. you in person. Nice to meet All right, you. All right, have a good one. All right, so we'll be back in just one minute for a little quick wrap-up. I've been here. I am the Dan Allen with Kaylin Clarkson, a 6'3", 230-pound left-handed pitcher coming from Barrie, Ontario, JCC Community College, and coming to you from the Watertown Rapids uh, ballpark here at the fairgrounds in Watertown. I am the Dan Allen. We're at Tully's Good Times at 1050 Arsenal Street, and we'll be right back. Honey, who's got the best deal on? Bob Johnson. Flower pots. The best deal on flower pots. Bob Johnson doesn't have deals on flower pots, but we have the very best deals on new cars, trucks, and SUVs. Best inventory, best service, best pricing, best people. Bob Johnson, this is where the savings are. Bob Johnson. Bob Johnson. Welcome back, Rapids fans. The Dan Dallin here for the wrap up for Dallin on the Diamond at Tully's Good Times, 1050 Arsenal Street in Watertown. Proud sponsor of the Watertown Rapids. So that was a great conversation I just had with Kaylin Clarkson, returning left-handed pitcher for the Watertown Rapids, hailing from Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Six foot three, 230 pounds. Big, strong, lefty power with the sneakiest changeup that you may see this summer. I can't wait to see what role he plays, whether it's a starting pitcher or coming out of the bullpen from last year. Now, personally, after that conversation, seeing how much he's grown from last year to this year, I can see more of a starting role for Kalen as he comes into this Rapids team. Coach Petrosi has put together a really solid team, still has some spots available. So if you know somebody that wants to play some baseball this summer in the perfect game baseball collegiate league, certainly reach out to the Watertown Rapids and Coach Petrosi. We're always looking for people that are willing to have a good time, just like here at Tully's Good Times. So it's a great story. You can see how people develop. He's starting off from a t-ball age through travel ball and how things progress. It was really interesting to me how Kalen ran into some difficulties uh, at college, uh, an injury, running some mental health issues and how he was able to overcome those and utilize his support system from school, home, coaches, and his athleticism and just his joy and love of baseball to re-engage and get back into the sport that he loves and get back into uh, college life. We didn't really touch on it, but I did speak to Kalen beforehand. He's studying physical education and Kalen is looking forward to being a baseball scout or a collegiate pitching coach. So. How incredible is that? What a, a, a tremendous future that he has lined up for him. 
We've got a super exciting season ahead of us, again, beginning May 31st, and the Boonville Lumberjacks come into Watertown to take on the Rapids right here at the fairgrounds. The Lumberjacks are formidable opponents, excuse me, but the Rapids always put together an exciting team. I don't know if you've seen the, re the press release on Facebook and Instagram and all the social medias. is carried in a newspaper as well. But some new owners coming into town for the Rapids looking to really bring the excitement from the diamond to you. You got to be there in order to receive that excitement, the energy, the hot, the heat, the summer ball, nothing like it in America. After all, it is America's pastime. Can't wait to see you out there at the fairgrounds in Watertown, home of the Watertown Rapids. I am the Dan Dallin, a positive influence. This has been Dallin on the Diamond, and I want to remind you, don't wait for it to be a good day. Make it a great day, everyone. Take one day, take